Hello. So on my last video, the Lord had shown me um, and told me to share that we are to watch and pray. Those that love Jesus are watching and praying. They're seeking him and they're aware of the times. So I wanted to just report, you know, that there was another earthquake last night in Haiti and it was pretty big as well. I think it was 5.9. Okay, so the birth pains are getting closer together. There was another one. Let me show you last week in Indonesia that was massive. And I believe over 1,500 people died. So it's very sad that, um, you know, the devastation that goes on. We need to pray um, because this can happen anywhere. Um, I remember when Jesus was asked about a tower that fell in his day, and the people said, "Were the people that were were the people killed in that tower worse sinners than the rest?" And Jesus said, "Unless you all repent, you will all likewise perish." So, this is what the Lord gave me: yet another big earthquake in another place. And I'm going to read here. Mark 13, especially verse 8, talks about the birth pains increasing. Get right with your maker, Jesus Christ. He looks at the heart. Man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. God knows all things. Nothing can be hidden from the Lord. God knows the truth about everything. People can lie to themselves, but they cannot lie to the Holy Spirit. People can go around and do all kinds of things that are wicked and evil and think that they're hidden from God. No, God sees all. He knows all. He knows the motives of men's hearts. And he's good and righteous. He doesn't accept evil. He does not accept evil. So let me read Mark 13. And as he, Jesus, went out of the temple, one of his disciples said unto him, Master, see what manner of stones and what buildings are here. And Jesus answering said unto him, Seest thou these great buildings? There shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. As he sat upon the Mount of Olives over against the temple, Peter and James and John and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign when all these things shall be fulfilled? And it's talking about the end times, the, the very end. And Jesus answering them began to say, um, Take heed lest any man deceive you. First thing he said, Take heed lest any man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Or they will be saying, I am Christ, I am anointed, I am from God, or whatever. Are they really? Verse 7, And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled, for such things must needs be. But the end shall not be yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginnings of sorrows. But take heed to yourselves, for they shall deliver you up to councils, and in the synagogues ye shall be beaten, and you shall be brought before rulers and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them. And the gospel must first be published among all nations. But when they shall lead you and deliver you up, take no thought beforehand what you shall speak, neither do ye premeditate. But whatsoever shall be given you in that hour, that speak ye, for it is not ye that speak, but the Holy Ghost." Now the brother shall betray the brother to death, and the father the son, and the children shall rise up against their parents, and shall cause them to be put to death. And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. But when ye shall see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, standing where it ought not, let him that read, reads understand. Then let them that be in Judea flee to the mountains. And let them 
Let him that is on the housetop not go down into his house, neither enter, in, enter therein to take anything out of his house. And let him that is in the field not turn back again for to take up his garment. But woe unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days. And pray ye that your flight be not in the winter. For in those days shall be affliction such as was not from the beginning of the creation which God created unto this time, neither shall be. And except that the Lord had shortened those days, no flesh should be saved. But for the elect's sake, whom he hath chosen, he hath shortened the days. And then, if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, lo, he is there. Believe him not, for false Christs and false prophets shall rise and shall show signs and wonders to seduce, if it were possible, even the elect. But take ye heed, behold, I have foretold you all things. But in those days, after the tribulation, the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, shall fall, and the powers that are in heaven shall be shaken. And then shall ye see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And then shall he send his angels and shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from the uttermost part of the earth to the uttermost part of heaven. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When her branch is yet tender and puts forth leaves, you know that summer is near. So ye in like manner, when you shall see these things come to pass, know that it is nigh, even at the doors. Verily I say unto you that this generation shall not pass till all these things be done. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. But of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no not the angels, which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. Take ye heed, watch and pray, for you know not when the time is. For the Son of Man is as a man taking a far journey, who left his house and gave authority to his servants, and to every man his work, and commanded the porter to watch. Watch therefore, for you know not when the master of the house cometh, at evening, or at midnight, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning, lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. And what I say unto you, I say unto all watch. So Jesus, those were the words of Jesus. So Jesus in his mercy is telling us beforehand that as the birth pains increase and these things are happening, that the end is at hand. And it is actually God's mercy to help people wake up to repent so many can be saved. So, so people can be saved because he says he comes as a, as a thief. And if you read Matthew 24, which goes along with this, it, goes, it tells you that. So churches are asleep and there are most of them, the very vast, vast majority, are not warning people of the increasing signs. And it seems like it seems like things are just going on as they've always been. Just like the Bible says, as in the days of Noah, people were eating and drinking and being given in marriage until the flood came and took them all away. So get your, get your heart right with your maker. And the Lord just wanted me to share this in his awesome, great, and wonderful name. Amen.